So, you're trying to find sale prices. Hi, this is Tom with The Land of Math, and in this video I'll show you how you can calculate the sale price of different items using percentages. Now, to do this, I'm going to use two different methods. I'll show you how they work, why they work, and also the advantages of both. And at the very end of the video, I'm going to do four different problems, and I'll use both methods so you can see which one you think works best for you. Also, if you have any other additional problems with percentages, I've done a whole series of videos about percentages, and I'll put all those links in the description down below so you can check them out if you need to. Now, without any further ado, let's find the sale prices coming up now. In this first method, what we're going to do is we're going to find how much we're going to save and subtract it from the original cost. So in this problem, we're going to take 60 times 0.25, which is 25% written as a decimal, and that's going to give us 15 or $15. That 15 is the amount that we're going to save. So what we're going to do with that 15 is we're going to just subtract it from the original cost, which in this case is 60, and that's going to give us $45, which would be our sale price. All right, so a short recap. So our first thing that we want to do is convert our percent to a decimal. So in this case, 25% is 0.25. We multiply that by the whole amount. That gives us the amount saved, and then just take the original cost minus what we're going to save. Now method two. We're going to take the original amount, but this time we're going to multiply it by the percent that you pay for. So, for example, using the same problem, we're going to take the whole amount, which was 60, but we're going to multiply by 0.75, which would be the decimal for 75%. And that's going to give us 45 or $45, which is the sale price, just like the last question. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, how is this possible? Where did the 75 come from? So, we know that 60 times 1 would be 60. That's like the whole amount, or 100%. If we take 60 times 0.25, we get the 15, which we mentioned earlier. And the 15, again, like we said, is what you're going to save. If you take the whole amount, the 1, and the 0.25, which is what we're saving, if you subtract those, so if you go 1 minus 0.25, that gives you 0.75, or 75%. And so you have to pay for 75%. Now here's some examples, like just real quick. If you have a sale, like we just said, if it's 25% off, you have to pay for 75%. So you take the price times 0.75. Saving 30%, that means you have to pay for 70%, so times 0.7. If you're saving 90%, which is a great deal, you only have to pay for 10%, so you would just multiply by 0.1. And if the sale is horrible, you're saving 4%, you have to pay for 96% or 0.96. Another way of thinking of it is thinking of it as variables. So the whole amount, the W would represent the whole amount, or one whole, or one W. The 25% that we're saving would be 25% of the whole, or we could think of it as 0.25 W. Now, what we can do is we can combine these two or simplify them down. So we know that 1 minus 0.25 would equal 0.75. So if we simplify or combine those two variables, we would get 0.75 W would equal the total. So both of these methods have advantages. The first one's main advantage is it makes it easy to find the amount of the sale or the discount. The advantage of the second one, there's two of them, it's faster to find the total, and also it's gonna help us with more complicated problems, like the one coming up here, where we know the sale price, we know the percent of the sale, and we have to work backwards to find the original price. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have four different examples, and we're gonna use both methods in each of these. So in this first example, let's say we have a $50 item and there's a 20% sale. So we're going to take the $50 and we're going to multiply it by the decimal of 20%, which is 0.2 or 0 0.20. And when we do that, we end up getting 10. The 10 represents the $10 that we're going to save. So we're going to take our $50, the original price, minus what we're going to save, which is 10, and that will give us $40. So the $10, again, is what we're going to save, or how much we saved, and the $40 is our sale price. Now, and again, that was method number one. So method two, we're going to take the $50, but this time we're multiplying by 0.8, or 0 0.80, and that 0.8 represents the percent we're paying for. So when we multiply it, we get 40, which is also the price. So number two, $72 item, 90% off, so pretty good deal here. We would take 72 times 0.9. And 
And again, that 0.9 represents the 90% of the sale or what we're saving. And when we do that, we get 64. Now in this case, or actually 64.80, that is the amount that we're saving. So we take 72 minus 64.80, and that's gonna give us $7.20. That's gonna be our, pro our cost. Now method two, we would take 72 times 0.1, and that would give us 720. And again, that's how much we're gonna pay. And you'll notice both these methods, we get the same amount. In example three, we're looking at a $4.80 item with a 35% sale. So we'll take $4.80 times 0.35, and that's gonna give us the amount we're gonna save, which is $1.68. We're gonna take that $1.68 and we're gonna subtract it from the $4.80. And that's gonna give us our total sale price which is $3.12. Now, if we're using method two, we'd go $4.80. We're gonna multiply it by 0.65 because that's the percent that we're paying for. And that would give us $3.12. So again, we're gonna get the same answer both ways. You can see the second one has like one less step. All right, example four and last one. $56 item, 12.5% off. So method one, $56 times 0.125, which is what 12.5% would be as a decimal, that gives us seven. So we're gonna save $7, subtract that from the 56, and we get 49. So our sale price is 49. Example two, or method two, take the 56, multiply it by 0.875, which is the percent we have to pay for, and it's just gonna give us the $49, which is our total cost. And again, you can see that both of these are the same. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, please give it a thumbs up, and we would love it if you subscribe to the channel.